Let's begin by putting this product in context. Imagine a multifamily property, say an apartment building. This apartment building has 200 resident units, a parking garage, a fitness room, a media room, the property manager's office, and a maintenance storage space. Because electronic credentials are easier to change and track than traditional keys, the property manager and developer want to use electronic access control for all access points, including resident units, primary and secondary entrances to the building, the lift gate to the garage, the fitness room, etc. The property manager is familiar with the Schlage Control Smart Deadbolt for resident unit entry doors and Schlage NDE and LE wireless locks for offices, storage closets, and IT rooms. And he is aware these locks can be easily managed with the Engage web and mobile apps. But what options are available for the perimeter doors? The new Schlage CTE single door controller can now enable perimeter and common area doors to be managed in the same system as Schlage Control NDE and LE wireless locks. Residents will enjoy the convenience of only having one credential to access all authorized doors on the property. Property managers will appreciate the efficiency of managing all openings in the same system using the Engage web and mobile apps or software from one of our Software Alliance member systems. So, how does the CTE work? The Schlage CTE single door controller is sold in a kit combined with a Schlage multi-technology reader. Please note the CTE controller works with these two models of readers only. The Schlage MT11485 and the Schlage MT15485. The CTE manages a peripheral locking device such as an electrified exit, electric strike, electrified lock, or mag lock depending on local code and the operational requirements of the opening. Let's take a closer look at an example. The CTE is typically installed close to the opening in a secure location, perhaps in an adjacent closet. In this example, we are using a Von Duprin electrified exit device, which will enable free egress at all times. The Schlage MT11485 reader is mounted to the exterior side of the door and is connected to the CTE. The opening is powered by a Von Duprin power supply. Presenting a valid credential to the Schlage reader will cause the EL exit device to retract for an authorized credential. This example features an optional door position switch to track the position of the door and an optional request to exit switch to notify of authorized exit. These events can be captured in an audit report. While the CTE controller will be popular for openings with exit devices, Keep in mind it can control just about anything that takes an electrical signal, such as a lift gate to a garage, an automatic operator, a garage door, etc. For the apartment building example provided, the property manager now can manage all the openings in the same system with the Engage apps, and provide the residents the convenience of using one credential across the entire property. The same approach can apply in commercial mixed-use spaces, retail storefronts, and senior living facilities. And there's more to talk about. The CTE controller has several built-in communication and connectivity technologies for updating access rights, retrieving audits, etc. The built-in Wi-Fi communication feature means the controller can be updated via the facility's Wi-Fi on a daily basis automatically. Since the facility's Wi-Fi network is likely to be available in many of the common spaces where there are openings requiring this controller, this automatic daily update via Wi-Fi will be an often used feature. The built-in BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy Communications means facility managers can update each controller by walking to each door and communicating to each controller via their smartphone or tablet. No tour is a term to describe a process for updating access rights when a networked infrastructure is not available. No tour means facility managers do not have to go to the door to update the access rights. Hence, no tour. When using Schlage's MT20W enrollment reader and 13.56 MHz smart credentials, a facility manager can issue a smart credential to a new resident or a resident who has lost her credential, for example. When the resident presents the new credential to either Schlage's MT11485 or MT15485 reader connected to the CTE at the door, this updates the controller with the newly issued access rights. By the way, this no-tour functionality is available on the Schlage Control NDE 
and LE locks too, making it an attractive feature for multifamily facilities. While many CTE applications will be managed with the Engage web and mobile apps, it is capable of connecting to software from one of our Software Alliance members via Wi-Fi or with the Engage gateway, IP to host. That means if a site needs enhanced features, such as integrated HVAC control or smart apartment functionality, the CTE remains an option. Another example of the product's flexibility and ease of use, the CTE controller can be powered via 12 or 24 VDC power source, or PoE, power over Ethernet. The latter can make installations easier because PoE eliminates the need for power drops from an electrician. And, similarly, the controller provides output power too. Out of the box, the controller can power the Schlage credential reader as well as some locking devices or alarms. In addition, one can supplement the output power by using an external power supply. The Schlage data sheet found on the US Legion website has all of the details. To provide for even more options to manage access, the controller accepts signal inputs from door position switches, request to exit, request to enter, and remote release. While there's even more to talk about in regard to this powerful little box, please see the Allegion website, us.allegion.com slash multifamily, or contact your local Allegion sales consultant for additional information. Thank you for watching.